Understanding, head and hands, a phrase explored. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to dive into the meaning and usage of the phrase, head and hands. This phrase is commonly used in English and understanding its context can significantly enhance your language skills. So, let's get started. When we break down the phrase, head and hands, it's quite literal. Imagine a person sitting with their head cradled or supported by their hands. This is a universal body language, often signaling deep thought, frustration, despair, or exhaustion. Beyond its literal meaning, head and hands is often used figuratively. It can imply that someone is feeling overwhelmed, stressed, or in deep contemplation about a problem or situation. For instance, after reading the news, John sat with his head in his hands, visibly upset. Let's see how this phrase is used in different scenarios. In professional contexts, the manager had his head in his hands after seeing the quarterly losses. In personal situations, she sat with her head in her hands, worrying about her upcoming exams. While head in hands is common in many cultures, it's important to understand the cultural nuances of body language. In some cultures, this gesture might have different connotations, so it's always good to be aware of these differences, especially in international communications. I hope this video has helped clarify the meaning and usage of head in hands. This phrase is a great example of how English often blends literal and figurative language, offering a richer means of expression. Thanks for watching and keep exploring the fascinating world of English phrases.